Hello, this is Prophet Chris with Take Three. <laughs> oh, I have three kids at the house, so I'm going to try and keep this short, keep this quick. Lord, uh, he has spoke something to me. First Chronicles 19 first, so that's where I'm going to go. I have my notes with me. Uh, and that reads as such. First Chronicles 19:19. 19, 19. And when the servants of Hadadezer saw that they were defeated by Israel, they made peace with David and became his servants. So the Syrians were not willing to help the people of Ammon anymore. And here's what I heard the Lord saying. He said, I will make those who strive and fight against you into your servants. They will come and serve you now. Exclamation point, exclamation point. This is a two-part word as well. Um, and then the Lord led me to Esther 7, 4 through 6. So we're going to go there really quickly. And here's what that reads. For we have been sold, my people and I, to be destroyed, to be killed, and to be annihilated. Had we been sold as male and female slaves, I would have held my tongue, although the enemy could never compensate for the king's loss. So King Ahasuerus answered and said to Queen Esther, Who is he and where is he? Who would dare presume in his heart to do such a thing? And Esther said, the adversary and enemy is this wicked Haman. So Haman was terrified before the king and queen. And here's what I heard the Lord say. Watch on as your enemies are exposed before you and eventually hanged on their own devices. Oh, thank you, Lord. Feeling the anointing that, that God wants to speak something else said, I've caused you to be in this season for a reason, says the living God, says the Lord. I will bring you out when it is time, but stay in it while you are in it, says mm -hmm. the living God. You might feel uncomfortable. You might feel the furnace being heated seven times over, but stay in it. It's only a test for my plans and my purpose. purposes, says the Lord, Say the living God. I will bring you out. At the appointed time. I don't know who that was for. They shall fall. Suddenly assuming they were in the lead. And in control. But suddenly they will meet their end. Whether it be business or personal. Whether you be the employee or the boss. Whether you be the leader or the follower. Those not aligned with my will. Will fall before you says the Lord. Some of you may experience a phone call. Of the people who did you wrong calling to make it right with you. Mm. Then the Lord led me to a vision. I wrote it down. I saw, I saw money. I see money returning to someone who took advantage of you in the past. The Lord is bringing that money back plus interest. Who am I talking to? Please comment below if I'm speaking to you. I seal this word with the blood of Jesus and I pray that you be blessed and only go up from glory to glory as we walk with the Lord deeper and deeper. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. God bless you.